Hello and welcome to our design pattern series. In this video, we'll go through the top 3 common structural design patterns. Structural design patterns explain how to assemble objects and classes into larger structures while keeping these structures flexible and efficient. These patterns are adapter, decorator, bridge, flyweight, proxy, facade, and composite. Adapter pattern simply allows objects with incompatible interfaces to collaborate. The most common real-world example will be your phone's USB connecting to a power plug so that it can recharge its battery. In software engineering, adapter pattern is applied for example an application that consumes a third-party API that has XML data format, but it provides an API with JSON data format to its consumer. The creator pattern allows an object to behave differently on runtime without changing its interface through a wrapper. For example, when you're going out on a winter, you would normally layer your clothes so you can stay warm and snuggly. Let's apply the decorator pattern to your favorite coffee, Dispresso. In this example, we have a coffee component. It can be an abstract class or an interface, and each can be used on its own or wrapped by a decorator. Espresso is the concrete implementation of our coffee component. We also have an abstract or interface condiments decorator and below it are the concrete implementations like cappuccino, americano, and mocha. A simple example of where we can decorate our espresso with our condiments like steamed milk, chocolate, that will definitely change the cost of an espresso. Proxy pattern lets you provide a substitute or placeholder for another object. A proxy controls access to the original object, allowing you to perform something either before or after the request gets through to the original object. You can implement a proxy service where it could handle lazy initialization of heavyweight service objects or query result caching or lagging of requests and response and so forth. 